Hey everyone, welcome to another YouTube painting process video. As always, like the video, share it, and subscribe to the channel for more of this content. I think what's most appropriate is for me to dedicate this video to talk about branding. Because as I am painting fan art of the Wolfwalkers movie, I realized just how strong the studio's branding is when it comes to their work. As in, if you've ever seen a cartoon saloon movie, you know it's by them. And personally, just like with the style question, a lot of artists love to think about branding when they really shouldn't. I've heard stories where people might be learning something new, improving, but they feel like they should hold themselves back because they feel it might be going against what they've established to other people, to perceived brand. Now if you are an artist who is just starting out and you know exactly what your brand is, then you're probably a prodigy because 99% of artists have to figure it out as they continue to improve and work. Brand, in a sense, is ever-changing. It's, it's what the world knows you for. Without a doubt, even when I was younger, I posted some really stupid stuff. And even looking back, I'll be very embarrassed about it. And in the less extreme, sometimes you might get fans who tell you how they miss your older styles. And for myself to read stuff like that, sometimes it just makes me want to apologize because I keep moving on when it comes to my work. But it's not something that is deliberate. As I said before, artists continue to improve. You as a person will change. Your life experiences will make sure of it. So it's very hard to really think of a way to just have a stagnant brand especially as you are growing up. You're naturally just going to gravitate towards certain things when you are getting older and getting more experience in the field. My point being is you won't be drawing the same thing in 10 years. And even if you are, you're probably going to improve upon it. And there's certain things that you will always tinker with your own work to make it better. Your brand, in a sense, is ever evolving, and you might lose a few fans here and there who might have liked your old work. But in general, I find that people enjoy your work as you continually change it and improve upon it. And sometimes you just need to take the plunge in order to find out whether you want to draw certain things and your fans are expecting something. For instance, if you look at my work now, it's hard to believe there was a time around 10 years ago where I swear off from drawing women. I was really bad at it and I figured I might as well just keep drawing men. And there's nothing wrong with that, of course. But sometimes if your heart feels like you need to draw certain things in a certain way, then you're going to be evolving. And you might not be good enough right off the bat there's going to be a lot of experimentation and seeing if something works with this subject matter and etc. But I find that a lot better than if you were to just draw the same thing and aim for the same goals over and over again. In terms of whether your brand suffers from it, I don't find that to be true. There are some exceptions, however. So for instance, if you've ever drawn not safe for work stuff, like really not safe for work and you try to work for a studio that only likes to make kid stuff, then having that prior history is a little bit finicky, a little bit problematic, which is why sometimes you might see artists change their pen name every so often just to avoid having that sort of brand on them. But otherwise, I feel like it's perfectly normal for any artist to change the way they do things as they age. And it very rarely hurts their brand. In fact, a lot of people might be appreciative of the fact that you are evolving. You make your old work into vintage items now. 
And honestly, even a lot of times when you think you are changing a lot, there are certain features which will continually appear so long as you are honest with how you are drawing. So assuming that you are drawing naturally and not forcing yourself to do a style that you're not used to. So for instance, for myself, my work can change quite a bit. My subject matter can change quite a lot and I can improve technically. But one thing I noticed was that my old work still had the tracings of my rough brush strokes all around and it's still something I keep to this day and it's not something I can really stop myself from doing. Similarly, even if we look into professional styles like the Wolf Walkers and the Cartoon Saloon in general, the artists there improved a lot since Secret of Kells, the older movie from around 12 years ago I believe, but we still see them as the same brand. We just see them as improving themselves over time, and that's always a great thing. So my point is, don't really think too hard about it. Just go with the flow, and don't be afraid to take chances with your work, because you never know what you'll find when you're experimenting. And don't think of brand as an excuse to stop you from doing so. Anyways, I'll let the rest of the video conclude. I really like the Wolf Walkers movie, by the way. You should really check it out. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.